box drill. I don't know, I think these are about six feet apart, I would say, so six foot box. We gotta imagine like there's a straight line between each puck. So you're gonna start off here. First variation, you're going across clockwise, see pushing all the way around the horn clockwise, and then counterclockwise. That's the first variation. Let's do that as quickly as you can. Lead with that stick, nice and square, hard stops, hard pushes. Ready, go, here we go. Other way, other way. All right, second variation, you start up here again. Stationary butterfly, while you're down, pivot plant push, slide over to here, stop your slide with your lead skate so you're square, pop back up to your feet again, and then down. So it's down, push, get up, down, push, get up. Clockwise first, and then counterclockwise. Here we go. That's it. Love that knee drive, love that knee drive. Excellent. Third variation that we like to work on is we just go from a standing position to a slide and get up. Slide and get up. And very precise finishing, very precise, keeping the gloves quiet, stick quiet, and clockwise, then counterclockwise. You're just sliding to your new target, finish with precision. Here we go. Hard pivot, hard pivot. Turn your head, look where you're going. Look where you're going. Get that glove to the side a little bit more. Fill some space with that glove, nice. All right, next variation. You're gonna start down and stay down, and don't worry, we're almost done. I'm not giving you the full bagging, just the, the fun stuff. So you're gonna start down in your butterfly, violent pivot, plant, push, stop with your lead skate to break you to get square and perfectly positioned. So bing, bing, bing around, staying down, starting down the whole time. Clockwise and then counterclockwise. Here we go. Give her. That's it. Excellent, excellent. All right, catch your breath. You got one last one to do. And twin, I'll give you these three pucks. I just need one for this last drill, and then you get a cool down stretch. So you're gonna do a piv uh, uh, sorry, you're gonna do a pendulum drill in place with your belly button square to me. Wherever I go around the circle here, you gotta pivot and keep doing the pendulum drill wherever I go. You know what we're doing here? You got one minute of work left in you, and then you got a cool down stretch. All right, let's finish strong here, Hayden. Start the pendulum back and forth. Here we go. job today kiddo it'll work that wasn't too hard all right it's the spring tryouts happening if you're already out of the playoffs you're going to be trying out for these teams soon and I got some great tryout advice for you first of all these things are cattle calls there's a million goalies there politics, nepotism, everything's involved. But I got some great tips that are gonna help you make the team you want and overcome some of that politic and nepotism stuff that's going on. First of all, make sure you're physically the first goalie on the ice. As soon as that Zamboni door closes, you should be stepping on ahead of everyone else. Make that a priority. Secondly, at the end of the skate, the practice, the shinny, the scrimmage, however they format the tryout, make sure you're physically the last kid off the ice, even if the Zamboni's about to run you over. People are sitting up in the crowd doing evaluations of the tryout, and they'll see this goaltender that's still hanging out there working on extra things. That's the type of character they want to see. Don't get into it, the Zamboni driver. Don't be a pain in the butt, but make sure you're physically the last guy on the ice. When they're collecting pucks at the end of the skate, help the coaches collect the pucks. Show that you have character, leadership, and you're not too big for your britches. Second thing, you need to identify the incumbent. Who's the best goalie on the team that you're trying to get their job? Wherever there's a skating drill, you skate beside them and you kick their butt. Whenever you go to nets, always go to the same net that the incumbent is in. And sometimes step in there in front of them, sort of mark your territory. Tell them, that's your net. 
you want the scouts, you want the coaches to see you two together beside each other. They know what that guy can do because he's the incumbent. And when they sort of match you two up together, they can sort of compare and contrast much easier if you're with one of the top players. Any skating drills that happen where you're doing over and back, blue line, forward type stuff, don't mitigate or don't sort of minimize those. Make sure you're kicking the other goalies' butts and some of the players if you can. Even if it has nothing to do specifically with goaltenders, in tryouts, every time there's a skating drill of any type, you kick their butt. Now, when you show up, yeah, I know we're all hugs and friends and we don't want to step on anybody's toes, but please dress nicely. Take all of your nose piercings out, get a haircut, look presentable. You don't need a suit and tie, but at the end of the day, they want to know that this is a kid that cares, wants to be on the team, presentable and professional. And I think the best way to sort of summarize it, you see how NHL guys show up to the rink, try to mimic that. Have a nice suit or collared shirt on, maybe not necessarily a tie, but be presentable. And actually when you're on the ice, here's some structural tips. Make sure you're not trying to do too much. Don't force pucks when you puck handle. Control the play. A lot of these guys don't know each other, so communicate wildly. Scream, 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 man on, man on, heads up, move it, move it, eat it, eat it, whatever it is. Be an over-communicator in a tryout environment because that lets the coaches and the evaluators know you're going to help the team in their defensive zone exits because you're a great communicator. Take a lot of whistles. Be a quarterback. Manage the clock. Manage momentum. Dumb things down when they need it. Safe, simple puck handle. Try to control your position. Try not to get into the elbows and rear ends, dying, diving all over the place. Control and trust is what they want to see in a kid that could potentially make it. And at the end of the day, one last tip. Before you show up to these tryouts, reach out to somebody truly connected in hockey that knows what you can do. And they will call the coach on your behalf and make sure they're looking at you to give you a reevaluation, a real evaluation. Because if you just show up cold turkey at one of these cash grab things, you're never going to have a chance to get noticed. Somebody's got to be watching for you. And then you've got to deliver. As coaches, we can put the golf ball on the tee. You're just going to have to hit it in the fair.